Welcome back to Studio 209, sponsored by Woods Furniture. The Wednesday Night Blitz. Turlock Irrigation District. Studio 209 starts now. Welcome to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Krista Messer. We're busting a move this week with interviews and highlights from the very first Dancing with the Turlock Stars. More than 1,000 people attended the event and over $34,000 were raised for the Salvation Army. If you missed it in person, here's a chance to catch up on all the fun. Come take a walk in the woods. Woods Furniture, where you'll find savings for every room and every occasion throughout our showroom floor. Like our buy one recliner and get a second recliner of equal or lesser value for free. That's right. Come in today and get twice the in-home comfort for the price of only one. Many styles to choose from during our buy one, get one sales event going on now. Woods Furniture at the Taylor Road exit off Highway 99 in Turlock. We're here at the first annual Dancing with the Turlock Stars event, and can you believe it? It's sold out with more than 950 people cramming into the Assyrian American Civic Club. What do you think about that, Aaron? It is amazing, and I tell you, Liz, that we don't even have that place filled up yet. People are coming in, and the excitement is contagious. There is so much enthusiasm in the house tonight. It's guaranteed to be a fun night for everybody. What brings you girls out here tonight, and do you have a favorite? Oh, goodness. Well, I am a little partial because Mackenzie Shamgosian uh, actually worked for us at Glitz, so here to support her, but, you know, it's all about the dancing, so we'll see who, who does the best. How about you, Jordan? I have to go to Rufus, right? Oh, Got to support yeah. Turtle Akai. Do you know any of the participants? I do. I actually went to prom with Gary Soisa, and um, so I'm hoping he does well in the competition tonight. We're here at Backstage Academy of Dance with mayoral candidate Mike Brim and his partner Kelsey Civic. Let's see how they're preparing for the big day. What kind of partner was Mike Brim? Was he easy to work with? Was he difficult? A kind of partner. He was a very good partner. Um, he was a hard working partner. He was good at if he didn't get a step right away, he'd want to repeat it over and over and keep doing it until he got it right. Uh, I gave him homework a lot to practice at home. We taped the dance so he could watch it and practice it. I gave him a CD with a song on it and told him to listen to it in the car. So he followed directions pretty well. What is your experience, Mike? Had you ever danced before? Is this your first time? My wife, Tina, and I love to dance, but uh, it's different when you dance with a professional dancer uh, and you're choreographed and you've got to do it to certain beats and all those sorts of things. So I've never done anything like that before, but Kelsey is a very good teacher and she's Thank been patient you. with me and uh, <laughs> we've made progress. Now let's kick it over to Alegria Ballroom where mayoral candidate Gary Soiseth and his partner Gabrielle Aguiar Forrest are preparing their dance. What was it like learning from Gabrielle? Give us the, the real story. Was she tough on you? She was very tough on me. Yeah, unforgiving. No, she's very good, very patient. Um, she's not exaggerating. I had no clue what a one, two, three, five step. What are we doing? Her patience was tried. <laughs> Uh, but she did a really good job, and uh, that's why we have what we have today. What is kind of your theme? What do you hope people kind of take away from your performance? Um, well, I was looking for something that started a little slow and um, built up to something faster, so you had that, that kind of anticipation. And then... Um, it's very similar to a mayoral campaign, actually. <laughs> it's slow. Yes. And then, uh, Ramping up to the, to the big day. Right. And then at some point I drop in the splits and then we come back up and then it slows down again and then it has the big finish. While those practices were fun to watch, people are already filing in for the main event. So let's sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs>
Water and electricity, a deadly combination. Take, uh, 27. Action! Water and electricity are a cuddly domination. A deadly combination. A candy deprivation. <laughs> no. Cut! That's not it. Gotta change the lighting anyway. I'm going to get it this next time. You watch. Water and electricity, a deadly combination. Take 43. Action! Water and electricity are a deadly combination. <laughs> Cut! Print! We got it. Well, that's it for another episode of Studio 209. Be sure to catch our next episode at TurlockJournal.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can find this and other episodes at 209magazine.com. For everyone here at Studio 209, I'm Krista Messer and we'll see you next time.